All right, guys. I reacted to relatives, low key featuring um, Logic, and uh, you guys said check out some Logic. So I'm here. I actually typed Logic into YouTube, and somebody else came up. I could barely find any of this guy's stuff, man. Um, Spectator, Logic, the People's Army. Let's get right into it. People are always quick to make assumptions and judge someone when they've never really been in that situation themselves. I'm just a spectator looking in But I can tell you how I think things should have been And all the reasons why the world's where it is today Please listen to my words, what I have to say hmm. You see in Gaza, they're fighting for land You see they need this land because it's a part of their plan Understand, the Jews needed a place after Hitler But they got about three quarters of Palestinians all right, guys. I've been reacting to a lot of freestyles. I gotta, I gotta rewind it because we're we're getting into some real stuff in this one. This is no freestyle stuff. This is no flex on a track type of type of you know what. Let's 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 go, guys. In for land, you see they need this land because it's a part of their plan. Understand? The Jews needed a place after Hitler, but they got about three quarters of Palestinian land. Palestinians then had to make refuge in places like Lebanon, places where none of them had ever gone. Thousands were massacred for not leaving. So yeah. I do the same. Kill me, I die believing. I understand the mind of a man who commits suicide, but don't agree with any innocent that has to die. And what's gonna happen? Happen after this will they stop with the Gaza strip I don't think so I sat with it man so as as this is being made I don't know when you guys are gonna be watching this but it's a uh, December 6th 2023 um, you know n not you know about two months or so after the October 7th attacks um, this is incredibly uh, incredibly relevant right now um, I mean, he's kind of going into the history of it of um, World War II, um, you know, in 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 Europe, uh, you know, there was a lot of anti-Semitism. Hitler comes about, um, and and obviously the Holocaust happened. This video just got basically demonetized. I don't really care though. These are these are the real topics. So he's essentially going into the history of um, you know the the world essentially agreed after World War II to give um, Israel its uh, a, a place for is you know Jew jewish people to reside in um you know as a way to say like hey you guys don't didn't really have a homeland essentially here you go and um he, he's breaking down the political um and and in some cases military ramifications of of just kind of like etching out a plot of land and saying here you go you guys get this now um, when there's, I mean, the, the history, like, I mean, I, I'm American, obviously. The history of the U.S. is like, f I mean, if you want to get crazy with it, maybe 400 years, more or less. I mean, in the making. Uh, obviously, you can set the exact time and say, well, from 1776, but like the history began before that. This is a conflict going back thousands. Of, I mean, essentially since time has existed, more or less, um, is my understanding of it. Let's let's keep going, guys. Jew to learn. He told me that he's not meant to go to Israel until a prophet returns. I said, is this true? He told me, go and read the Torah. Because if it's true, then they're following another order. How can a nation that knows what it's like to be slaughtered go and do the same to someone else? That's a simple question that they got to sit down and ask themselves, isn't it? I'm just a spectator looking in, but I can tell you how I think things should have been. A couple reasons why the world's where it is today. Please listen to my words, what I have to say. <sighs> I don't know everything and never will I claim to know. Hey, what man. Our purposes and what we really need to grow. But I gotta say, I'm a spectator on, on the Israel Hamas thing, too. I'm this, a spectator on the Israel Palestine uh, ongoing conflict, if you will. So, I mean, if, if you want to get mad, feel free. That's your right. You know, leave a comment and whatnot. But, um, you know, I'm just a spectator. I'm not super educated on, on the um, history of it, but I know a little bit enough to know, you know, it's it's a, a Americans tend to have this this idea of like, oh, here's the solution. Take it. Go. And if you don't do that solution, well, then that's why there's still a problem going on. It's like, guys, this isn't. This isn't even a generational fight. This is like ultra generational. This is like like 
ethnic beings, religious uh, identity. I mean, these are things that in the U.S. there's so much freedom of religion that, you know, you have your freedom of religion, but there's there's a lot of tolerance over here. Over there, it's a different world, and we as Americans definitely don't... Um, <laughs> Even I, you know, I, I understand it to a degree, but most Americans don't seem to understand like, guys, this is a this is a, a multi millennia conflict. Let's keep going. But do you know what dying for? Also, if you don't like me pausing, go watch someone who's doesn't know anything about it and who's going to act act and fake a reaction. Be like, oh, word, bro. Facts. Oh, he's spitting facts. Like, I might say someone's spitting facts, but I won't give that prop unless if I, I think they deserve it. So let's go. For a common cause, a global word that is well known. War. I've been to Africa and seen a grown man on the floor. Disabled to the point I couldn't look anymore. A real beggar in a real state of poverty. Mm. But he prays every day so he knows that there's got to be another life where he can live as a strong man. And the ownership of Africa doesn't end up in the wrong hands. Western palms buying and destroying people just to trade arms. Mm. Did someone tell me why Africa is just surviving? The whole land was a resource, plus they got diamonds. Used to be able to run your hand through the sand and get a handful of diamonds. Do you understand how precious... So I'm not... Uh, I, I gotta say, guys, once again, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, man. Go watch some idiot. I don't care. Um... I, I have to say, so as far as, like, I, I'm not condoning colonization of Africa. I'm not condoning the hand that, that the West and the U.S. I can't speak too much for the U.K., but I know for sure the U.S., I mean, we have our hand every, not we, our intelligence agencies have a hand everywhere. Um, I can't condone any of that, but one thing I will say um, is the, the power, I mean, once, once you discovered diamonds, what happened? Um, people wanted to... Africans wanted to consolidate that power and and reap the most benefit from that resource often at the exploitation of their own people now once again I'm not condoning I, I'm not saying like the West is innocent in anything because that would be complete BS um, usually when something messed up in the globe happens there's some kind of like a CIA asset involved um, so so you're preaching to the choir but uh, l let's keep going guys and through the sand and get a handful of diamonds do you understand how precious is the land if it's like that you see it's wrong to say it was taken by the white man it was taken by the power hungry and the people that never saw the beauty of africa fam they only saw the money to yeah. them it was the land of opportunity it's terrorism when it's done by either you or me Treat yeah these words like my eulogy yeah and man. remember that i died being exactly what i choose to be in wow. Shalal, you can see that God is the goodness in you and me. No religion has ownership. See the Quran and the Bible and the Torah were all wrote with ink. See, I think the masses are miseducated. See, most of the politicians were born racist. See, it's obvious that somehow we're all related. Millions of years back before we separated. I heard Tony Ben say it in a speech. See, how can you murder another brother because he's weak? Your ancestors could have been cousins, so take a seat. Man, thank you guys for giving me this. Recommend more by Logic. Telling you right now. Um, a lot of people, a, a lot of artists and, and public figures are, are afraid of even saying something like that. It's not, it doesn't matter what the race is. It's the power hungry. And, and regardless of your race or where you're from, uh, he said terrorism is, is terrorism, you know? Regardless of whether you're an African doing it to your own people or, or regardless of if you're a UK or US Australian politician, whatever it is, um, you know, it, it's uh, we have to look at the content of the character over the color of the skin, guys. And that's that's what it comes down to for me. I mean, that's that's Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. And it's like I, I do see a digression in society. That's not the point of this video. I won't get into it. But logic, man. OK. You guys recommend more by him. Let's keep going. A lot of people are afraid to say that because I, I bet he's gotten death threats from people um, for, for for just just saying the way he perceives the world. So let's go. Murder another brother because he's weak. 
Your ancestors could have been cousins, so take a seat and try and reason with your brother, fam, before you beef. I'm just a spectator looking in for my view. I'm not different or special, I'm just like you. Bleed blood and shed tears when my heart's hurting. I get energy from everything in life I'm learning. Have to say my thoughts, release my stress through my words. Make you visualize everything you've ever heard. Picture ancient Egyptians meditating to the elements, telepathically debating until the pirates came in the form of tradesmen. Promised them a paradise in exchange for a heaven. Temptation and misinterpretation. So they jeopardized the whole of the nation. Civilization, science, and mathematics came from Egypt. North Africa, man. A lot of people don't like intelligence is not exclusive to a race or a certain like it, it's insanity to me that people talk about stuff like that um you know most of our, our science and mathematics came from um egypt originally and then it, it expanded and it shaped the the way that we do it now even still let's keep going see a paradise is where we might choose to go but a heaven is the place where the angels go So they can reason with the prophets not bathe in gold And it's not late for no one to save your soul I'm a citizen of truth, love and loyalty Every person on the planet is royalty These are my thoughts, how I look at things Fam, I'm just a spectator looking in Yeah, man That's all I can really do I can only give you my Yeah, logic, man um... Any subject 100% man I get people who comment on my channel and they're like oh you said this you said that oh you're promoting ignorance you're I, I mean they'll leave most people on this channel are super positive and I get a lot of support from a lot of people um, but there's there's some people who just they want to leave a comment and like t they purposefully misconstrue what I say just because it like makes them upset and I'm like I'm first of all I don't claim to be an expert on anything um, I, I like a lot of hip hop. So I, the, some of my titles say hip hop head or whatever. Um, cause people, I didn't even, I don't even think I'm a hip hop head. I think people like look at me and oh, oh, you're like a hip hop head. I'm like, yeah, I guess like, it's not like something I set out to be. Um, but we're all just really spectators looking at, uh, at the world and all we can give is our individual perspective. And I, I don't like that people will shut down um perspectives just based on which i don't know which side of the fence it's on or oh did they say this trigger word or I, i'm cancel culture is anti-intellectualism in my opinion so i'm not gonna go on and rant too much on this guys but um you guys let me know what to react to by logic uh all the loves appreciated subscribe like comment and recommend you guys take care out there